Okay. Um. Let's make something very clear. I saw a reel not long ago stating now the person was not on screen it was just somebody talking about and obviously the words came up stating that a woman's primary job is to be a mother and that is her sole purpose that is her role in life it's a load of bollocks it's not real if a woman chooses to be a mother that's great if That is what she wants if she gets pregnant, whether she chooses, whether she has made a plan and her and her partner have sat down and they have decided to get pregnant, to have a child. Then perfect that's great if it's happened by accident and they've decided that they're going to go through with it amazing fantastic cool if all of that has happened and she winds up on her own and still decides to go for a bit brilliant for whatever reason then she winds up pregnant and she winds up either with her partner or without her partner. It doesn't matter. I don't care. If she chooses to keep that child, it's not her sole purpose in life. It isn't. Being a mum is not a woman's sole purpose. Let's get that very, very clear. We have many, many purposes in life. We are women, we are mothers, we are lovers, we are friends. We are people in our own right. We have personalities and character. We have hearts, minds and souls. We are not just baby makers. We have hopes and dreams. We work, we provide for our families, or we choose very, very early on in life not to have children at all. There are many women in this world who never become mothers. Not ever. And live fulfilling lives. Having kids is amazing and if we have them the majority of us who have children never ever regret them never look back and go i wish that had never happened there will always be that very small percentage who will be the worst parents on the planet and should never have had them ever and you sit there and go oh my god why on earth did that happen they should never ever have had that child and please somebody save that kid and put them in a home where they will be loved and cared for. But if we have children, yeah, they are an integral part of us as a rule. And we love every milestone that they go through and hearing that child say, I love you. It's such an incredible thing, such an amazing feeling, but it's not all of who we are. We are so much more than that. It does not make us or break us having children or not having children. So many women don't have children. <laughs> and have the most incredible fulfilling lives on in the world you know just like so many women with children have very fulfilling incredible lives you know we can still have 
a full work life, a full social life, whether we have children or whether we don't. We have our friends, we have our circles, we have, you know, we have our work and our passions and our hobbies and our loves and our dislikes and everything that makes us who we are as people. But to sit on social media and say that all we are, as all women are, is babies. We are just mothers. We are nothing else. It's wrong. It's completely wrong. We are not just baby makers. We are not just mothers. We are not just about our children. If we have kids, they are half of who we are. At least until they grow up. They get to an age where we can become so much more because they don't need us so much unless we have same children because same children are different they still require us as parents to sacrifice a part of ourselves throughout the whole of our lives and we will happily willingly do that because we love them so much But that's not all of who we are. That's not the whole of what we are. We are so much more than just mothers. So much more. We are, and if you have a partner, you are a lover as well. You, you, you are so, you, you have partners, you, cater to them as well you cater to yourself we still have our hopes we still have our needs as women we still have our loves and we still have everything that made us before we had our children everything we were before we had kids we still are after we're just adding an extra person onto to that so that we can be something more and yes when they're really really little we are consumed slightly by them because they take up a lot more of our time but as they grow so do we they go off to nursery they go off to school and we can flourish as human beings, as lovers, as friends, as workers, we can reignite our passions and our hobbies and all the things that we were before we had a baby and a very small toddler. And then they became children and all of a sudden we stopped being mum and started becoming us as human beings because we weren't all them. They didn't need us constantly anymore because there were times where we weren't necessary anymore because other people were teaching them, showing them, helping them grow in ways that we couldn't. So we had that chance to really, really fly again. And so many women really do flourish. You know, babies are all consuming. Toddlers can be quite consuming. But children, nah. Children are children and they just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And as they grow, so do we as human beings, as people, as women. Being a mother is not all we are. To say that that is all we are, to shove into the internet, and throw into social media this concept that that is what we have to be, that's all we have to be, that we are not allowed to be anything other than a mother, is ridiculous and pathetic and actually kind of insulting. 
because there is not a woman on this planet who could honestly sit there and turn around and say that she is nothing other than a mother. She has nothing else in her life. Nothing. That all she is, is a mum. That she's this robot of a mum and she has nothing else. No friends, no family, no work, no hobbies, no partners. Nothing else that she is solely mum. She has no likes, no dislikes, no passions. She doesn't like anything. No music, no films, no books. She doesn't like anything. You know, she doesn't read anything but baby books. She doesn't watch anything that doesn't have children and babies in it. That the only thing that she reads and watches and listens to is baby stuff and children's stuff that she will not venture out of this concept of babies and children and mothers you know and that there is not one mother that i've ever known that will ever do that because we're not all consumed by them and the ones that are go absolutely fucking insane we really do because you can't do it without going insane. We need to be more than that. We have to be more than that because otherwise we drive ourselves up the freaking wall. <laughs> we are human beings and we were human beings before we had children. And even after we have children, we are human beings and we lead healthy, fulfilling lives. You know, and those that never have children lead healthy and fulfilling lives. They don't have to be a mother to be an amazing woman. You don't have to have children to lead a fulfilling life. And this concept that women do is ridiculous. I, I, I do not understand this mindset that if you do not have a child, you're unfulfilled as a woman. No, 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 absolutely not. No, no, no. If you choose not to have a child, if you never, ever, ever, ever have children, you are just as fulfilled, just as whole, just as amazing, just as beautiful, just as incredible, have an amazing, beautiful, whole, fulfilling life as a woman that does have children. Your lives are just as brilliant. But you cannot be one thing. No human on the freaking planet can be one thing. To say that proves that they have no concept, no concept whatsoever of what the freaking hell they're talking about. Maybe whoever it is that made that, because I couldn't comment on it. Uh, I, I couldn't comment on this reel. I tried, I couldn't, the, the comment section's gone, I couldn't comment on it. So the fact is, if that person who had made that reel had actually spoken to a real woman and an actual mother, or even several mothers, and actually done a real poll, because I think that's what he needs. And I don't know how to do it. I'm gonna work out how to do that. I think I'm gonna to have to. Um, on what it means to be a woman and whether or not women are just one thing because he will be very shocked if he did that because he needs to do that. He needs to talk to actual real women, actual real mothers and learn what it really means to be a woman because he will be very shocked to understand that women are not just mothers. It's his very, it, it just feels very toxic to me, that opinion that very one-sided, very one, very focused, solely whatever opinion, it just feels very controlling as an opinion. 
and very sort of, you are a woman, you must be a mother, and if you're not a mother, you are not anything, feels very kind of, <clears throat> I would not want to be him if he ever met a real mother. And they had seen that post. Because if I ever met him, he probably wouldn't like my answer. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a good day.